there's something fishy going on with the monthly fool. Stay tuned. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy GSTAT. Today's episode, we're going to talk about my standing, where I stand with SNDL and RYCEY. So a little update for you. Um, back in December, way before December, I bought into SNDL at about 60 cents per share. And I bought a bunch of thousand shares of them and um, also some calls. Uh, and since then, it's gone up and up and down like a roller coaster. So I've held it and watched it go up almost to four dollars, and did not sell, and watch it just to watch it go all the way back down to sixty-seven cents, sixty-six cents. And you know what I did? I bought a hell lot more when it went back down to sixty-six cents. That's what I did. Today is June first, twenty twenty-one, and today SNDL closed at a dollar. It went all the way up to a dollar and eight but went down to a dollar. After hours, it's going up to a dollar, one dollar, two, which is a good sign. To be honest, I wanted to see my emotional threshold <laughs> and watch the stock go down and see if I can hold all the way down, um, which was a very risky thing to do. I don't recommend it. If you look right here at this chart, the EMA is about to cross the SMA, and this is gonna make this stock go back up and skyrocket. Look at it, it's about to cross. And that's my strategy here guys I look for this um, if you can see I put my EMA at 13 and my SMA at 15 so that's my play here guys I try to get in before the cross and once it crosses through I take the profit and once that green line EMA crosses that SMA red line it's gonna go above a dollar and it's just gonna stay above there it's gonna just keep going up you heard it here watching the stock for these last couple of months though, I've noticed one thing. I've noticed one company, which is The Monthly Fool. And wow, I've seen them trash this stock, which tells me one thing, dude. Okay, so now let's talk about the fishy stuff that's going on. When I talked about Monthly Fool, I started watching them before I got into the stock. And take a look, dude. Take a look here. All the, <laughs> all the articles that are released most of them, 90%, 99.9% of them, are from Monthly Fool, and they're totally downing SNDL. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Look, why Sundial Growers stock is bolting higher today? All right, sounds like a good article, right? Let's click on it. Let's like, oh, Monthly Fool's finally saying something. Continue reading. All right, let's let's take a look. If you read below down here. You see why? Should you invest? Now what? You see what I'm saying? Like they 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 put us something good about what the stock is doing, and then and then they talk smack and say, "Do not invest in the stock." No, really, guys. If you don't believe me, take a look at this. Like, here's one. Boom. Eight hours ago. Boom. Another one. Eleven hours ago. Top 50. If you click on this, it sounds like a good thing. And then they talk about why you shouldn't invest in SNDL why sundial group and all these other guys search today and then on the bottom of the thing their last paragraph they tell you why you should get out of it investors place okay that's not mildly full but look again another mildly full another mildly full another mildly full another mildly full dude so all this is just it's kind of crazy and it it's kind of fishy and it makes me think something you got to be a damn fool to listen to these guys i swear to god Oh my God, they crack me up, man. Who pays these guys money for their advice? I swear. Ah, anyway, to the next stock. Enough about the fools at Mildly Fool. Um, I definitely believe in this stock and I'm gonna hold on to it. It's definitely gonna go above the dollar. It's gonna just stay up there. Um, again, I got a lot of holdings on it and um, I also have calls. So I, I'm gonna be here for a while. Okay, now let's talk about my holdings and Rolls Royce, R Y C E Y, R Y C E Y. Um, again, everything looks good with the company. I am definitely holding on to the Rolls Royce until it goes above three dollars. It's definitely going to go above three dollars. Don't count me on that. Um, but now hold my word on that. I definitely believe in Rolls Royce. It's going to go above three dollars. 
So should you buy more Rolls Royce? I definitely believe that anything below 145 and below you should buy stock. You should buy. Those are the dips that I personally purchase on. Um, I bought it at $1.30, but hey, you can, that's the price rate. With flights coming back and everybody being vaccinated, um, it's gonna be norm to go back to flying and going to different places and airlines doing their thing. So with that being said, this is gonna go up. You heard it right here. Make sure you grab a piece of share of the pie and hold, hold. Again, let me state the fact that make sure you do your due diligence. <laughs> These are just my personal opinion and they are not financial advice. Do your due diligence, guys. Again, thank you everybody for all your support and love thus far. If you liked the video, make sure you comment below, like it, subscribe, do the whole nine. Let me know what you think about these fools. Whatever. Stay in touch. There'll be more videos to come. And I'll see you guys soon. Stronger together.